Couple months ago, a post popped up on the Terraria subreddit that shattered the world as we know it. The title of this post was, My friends are trying to tell me that the Scraggler NPC never existed. Please solve this debate for us. And attached was a photo of a cute looking swamp man sitting at a table. Now being fully honest, I have no recollection of this NPC, despite playing every single update since release. But clearly, I was in the minority as hundreds upon hundreds of people commented on this post sharing tender memories of the Scraggler. I'm very fond of the Scraggler. I always put him in the house nearest to my bed so I can see him. That's the one you fish up in the jungle, right? Yeah, he's been in the game since 1.3.9. Yeah, I remember him. He's real. But one could easily claim this all to be an elaborate hoax. As I just learned, sometimes people on the internet lie. But all my doubts were immediately put to bed when I saw the top comment on the post. It was by Redigit himself, the original creator and lead developer of Terraria. We had to remove Scraggler in 1.4.4 after receiving many angry emails about his offensive dialogue. Well, now I was really confused and honestly, I felt a little left out. I mean, there were hundreds upon hundreds of comments on this post. Sharing fond memories of the Scraggler and how much they missed him. Hardcore fans crying out at how sad they were that he was removed from the game. The Scraggler was one of the people's favorite NPCs in the entire game, and his absence was destroying the Terraria community from the inside. And so, I made it my goal to fix this. I was gonna do what Redigit was too scared to do. I was gonna put the Scraggler back into Terraria, finally repairing the Scraggler-sized hole in the community's heart. But how was I gonna do this? I mean, as Redigit said himself, all references to the Scraggler were completely removed from both the game, changelog, and wiki. While my cause was noble, how was I supposed to add back in an NPC that I knew nothing about outside of this one single picture? With no clear place to start, I began going through the comments on this Reddit post and several Twitter threads to see if I could piece together who the Scraggler truly was. And the major factor I noticed across nearly every Every single reply was that the Scraggler was an NPC that you'd fish up in the jungle, which I found to be really cool as no other NPCs are summoned with the fishing rod. The next most popular thing I'd see people comment on was the Scraggler's attack. While I hate the annoying screeching sound it makes, it covers an impressively large area. I remember my first playthrough, I was struggling with Skeletron Prime, and just as it was about to kill me, Mad Lad Scraggler kills it. I remember I used him to cheese Skeletron in 1.0.1, and his AoE spore attack was insanely broken. The last one in particular stood out to me because in the 1.0.1 update, I had clocked over 200 hours of gameplay and I have no recollection of the Scraggler nor his attack. And while this made me start to doubt my entire journey, I quickly remembered something. At the time of the 1.0.1 update, I was 13 years old and children are fucking stupid. This reassurance made me feel much better, and I added that the Scraggler had an overpowered spore attack to my list of Scraggler facts. Reading through the replies, I learned tons of things about the Scraggler, like his iconic catchphrase being, it's Scraggling time, and that he sold gills, potions, and mud blocks. According to sources, he even used to have several weapons he would sell. The Scraggler is so undervalued by most players. Vine Whip and Flask of Vines are S tier for events. There simply isn't another way to stop enemies in their tracks like these items do. While this was the only only comment I found talking about the Vine Whip, the spelling alone told me tons. I surmised that the incorrect spelling of Vine Whip to be W-I-P was meant to be a play on the fact that the item looked like a work in progress. Absolutely vital information that I make sure to add to my file. Kinda a shame they nerfed the Shell Scraper, but oh well. I had never heard of a Shell Scraper before. But to the Scraggler's credit, I had also never heard of Taylor Swift until just last year. So I decided to look it up, and I found that the Shell Scraper was a muscle shell that has a razor sharp edge. While the comment didn't point out at what point in progression you would unlock the shell scraper, I made sure to try and bring it back to its pre-nerf glory. The next comment I found also made a lot of sense to me. Moochie Bucci on Twitter wrote, You gotta beat the Wurgle. Most NPCs are locked behind certain boss progressions, and seeing as Relogic has removed bosses before, like Akram and Turker, it added up for me. But then came the next question, what the hell? is a Wurgle. I searched the internet high and low for information on the Wurgle. Urban Dictionary said, what something is doing when it's not being productive, such as a TV without a viewer, a time of pointless thinking or activity. And I know that just couldn't have been right. After continuing my search, I eventually found an Australian children's picture book called Olaf Hunts a Wurgle. And while I investigated across the entire internet, I could not find the full book. So the only thing I could go off of is this short description I found on the Abe Books page. When Olaf hears a hissing sound, 
found in the middle of the night, he concludes that a wurgle is trapped in the ceiling. So now I know that a wurgle is a ceiling tile sized animal that makes a hissing sound. With no further leads on what a wurgle was, I decided to message my friend from New Zealand, Blade. While Olaf Hunt's wurgle was published in Australia, I sometimes forget the difference, so I figured it would be fine. I messaged him, do you know what a wurgle is? Not without looking it up. This rabbit hole goes a lot deeper than I thought. With Olaf leading me to a dead end, I decided to search Wurgle into Twitter, and what I found blew my mind. Firstly, this picture of someone's fursona. I didn't think that this had anything to do with what a Wurgle was, but I decided to study it for many, many hours, just in case. After talking about my feelings with my girlfriend, we decided it'd be best for our relationship if I stopped looking into this. I was losing myself in my work. Returning to my search for the Wurgle, I only really found two tweets. One was a drawn photo of a possum, and the other a piece of corn on the cob. I made sure to note this down in my file. With all that research done, I felt like I had a pretty good idea of who the Scraggler was. There was just one thing left to do, write his dialogue. Now this would be the toughest part of the entire process, as this dialogue was so offensive that it led to Relogic getting countless of emails and eventually led to the Scraggler's ultimate removal. And the only thing offensive about me is this disgusting creature I'm growing on my upper lip, so I decided to type in to Google offensive topics and then just took the first 10 results that it gave me. And just like that, I had completely finished my recreation of the Scraggler. I sent my notes off to Vervine, one of the most talented Terraria modders I knew, positive that he'd be able to pull this off. When he quoted me for how much it was going to cost him to make this mod, it, it was a lot. Like, like, a lot. And I wondered to myself, is this even worth it? Should I really spend all this money on some stupid NPC mod that no one will even care about? And that's when I remembered all of the amazing, incredible stories that people had to say about the Scraggler. Countless memories of times that the Scraggler touched their hearts. He was stolen from this world when they were counting on him the most. How could I live with myself if I robbed the community of that joy? So I agreed and Verve got to work to bring my vision to reality. And just a couple weeks later, he sent me his masterpiece. The Scraggler was finally back in Terraria. But of course, if I was going to summon him in, first, I'd need to fight the Wurgle. Let's go ahead and spawn in the Wurgle. And the way you spawn him in is you have to think of the most controversial thing you can say since, you know, I guess he was a controversial figure. And... <laughs> Let me tell you, the people are at home, they're not gonna like this one. Dancing is not a real sport. <gasps> oh no! Where are you? Oh! <laughs> there he is! Oh my god. I'm so glad I could finally experience it just like everybody else. Oh, he's spawning slimes, okay. And... It, oh, he just... Oh, it, and there are cymbal sounds, I think. Why is he... He sounds like a symbol. Um, I didn't really come prepared for this fight at all, but he's already done 700 damage to himself. Oh, there's a signature possum tail. Wow, I can't believe I really got to experience Wurgle himself. Oh, okay, he's almost, he's almost done a thousand. Oh, he's done more than a thousand damage to himself. I can see why people miss this. And even if they're gonna take out the Scraggler, why did they go and take out Wurgle? I mean, he's, He's so fun. Oh, and he can float. <laughs> How about that? Oh, I love your signature corn on the cob ear. Uh, oh, he goes through walls. And he spawned a bunch of explosive bunnies. Which, oh, okay, Wurgle killed me. All right, I guess we'll need to prepare a little bit more before we fight the one, the only Wurgle. <laughs> oh, he, oh, no, he doesn't despawn. Oh, no, Wurgle waits for no one. All right, let's try this again. I gave myself a little bit more armor this time. I think I should be well equipped to fight him this time. All right, dancing is not a real sport. Oh, Wurgle, you're so controversial. Oh, God, you won't let them stop you. You hate the people who dance. But you know, you shouldn't say that, Wurgle. You really, you should, you should really try to be a little bit more woke. There's a reason that you were taken out of the game. I understand why Relogic took you out after... Oh my god, he's swatting so many slimes! He's harder than King Slime! Oh my god! What the hell? Wurgle! You must die! Oh, yep, he just did 200 damage to himself, as he does. What are those things? Seahorses. He's spawning seahorses out of the sky. Wurgle, why are you doing this? There's just so much crap everywhere. The only way you can even really damage him is the explosive bunnies he spawns himself. Man, the people at Twitter were right. This thing is an abomination. Also, I just realized physical weapons are probably really good on him. Not like he's very, uh, mobile. Just sit here all day. 
Oh my god. Pinky on a slime. No, he spawns Pinky. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Actually die here at the last moment. No, please. No, Mr. Wurgle. Pinky did a number on me, Mr. Wurgle. Oh my god, I'm actually gonna die. Oh, thank god. Wurgle is dead. Holy crap. What'd he drop? Oh, 12 lesser healing potions. Awesome. He just drops 12 lesser healing potions. Wurgle, what a waste of time you are. This is really messing with the progression cycle of Terraria, man. Okay, now we gotta head to the jungle and fish this guy up. Time to fish up the scraggler. We've made it to the jungle. I don't know what the spawning conditions for the scraggler were, so we kind of just had to get a little creative. Um, let's see if we can find him. All right, now I just guess we just... Sit here waiting to fish. Come to us, Scraggler! Please bestow upon our world. Oh my god! The Scraggler! The Scraggler's here! Oh my god, he's destroying these enemies! Oh my god, Scraggler! He's insane! Look at him, Scrag him! Oh my god, they don't stand a chance against the Scraggler! He's so powerful! Dude, I don't even need anything. Go, Scraggler! Kill them! Oh my god, he kills everything in one hit! It's Scraggling time! Oh, his iconic lines. Oh, I'm finally part of the crew that gets it. Does the amount of streetlights in a neighborhood correlate with the amount of crime? Oh, Scraggler, you can't say that. Condoms should be available at school? Oh, uh, okay. Um, all right, that, that's a bit, uh, 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 okay. Is genetic testing immoral? What else, what else you got? Should the death penalty still exist? All right, I'm gonna get demonetized, so we'll go into the shop. All right, let's see what he's got. First, he sells mud blocks. Mud blocks, nothing special about it. He also sells gills potions, which is nice. The shell scraper, oh, his iconic weapon. It's scrapping time. Oh, it's just like the scraggler would want. Oh my god, oh. Oh, you know, <laughs> you know, this one, I see why it was taken out. I, I kind of get it. This feels a little strong. Uh, just a little, but I, you know, I get, I get why they took this one out. Honestly, maybe this was a, th this seems a lit, uh, just a little hard to keep track of the screen. So, uh, the vine whip, of course. Uh, you guys remember everyone was talking about the vine whip. Applies tangled to hit enemies. Oh, the classic tangled debuff. Oh my God, I've never seen it before. Let's go test out the vine whip. Oh my God. It's so, the range is so long. Watch out. Oh, it tangled him. Look, look, he stopped him right in his tracks. Oh my God. Why did they ever think this was a good idea? This is so strong. Look, I can hit this slime from all the way up here. Oh, no, I can't because it doesn't go through walls. Look, I can hit him from like halfway across the... Look, he's tangled now. He's like stunned. Oh my God. Get messed up, man. Die. Stay back. Wait, I can't hit him. Ah, uh, he's too far. No, I hit this guy though. Oh, that's why. Oh my God. Oh, it's like a give and take sort of situation. Like it doesn't have piercing, so you can never tell what the f*** you're hitting. But also it takes up half of the entire screen. Again with the shell scraper. Yeah. 36 summon damage a lot. I have no idea. What about the tag damage? Nope. It doesn't have tag damage. There's a scraggler. Yeah, get over here, Scraggler. Dancing is not a real sport. Dude, don't say that. You're gonna get freaking the Wurgle back in here. Is it fair to expect people to take drug tests in order to receive government assistance? I don't know. I don't know, Scraggler. You tell me, Mr. Controversy. Can blind people be considered racist? All right, we don't need uh, any more input from the Scraggler this episode. All right, so the Scraggler has successfully moved in. I wanna see, I'm gonna turn on God Mode and see how he can fare against Skeletron. Scraggler? versus Skeletron. How you do? Oh my god! He's his hands are done! What the hell? <laughs> Scraggler! No wonder they want you back! Look at him! Look at him! Oh my god! Grag fing eviscerated Skeletron. What do you have to say about that, Scrag? Is the best government structure democracy? Okay. Uh, you know, you, you make a good argument. Should we try him against Wurgle? Dancing is not a real sport. All right, Wurgle versus Scraggler. <laughs> Who will reign victorious? Oh my God, poor Wur Wurgle was just eviscerated. All right, Scraggler versus King. Oh my, he's, uh, I didn't even get to see the fight. He's already dead. I didn't even get to watch it. Can the Scraggler take on the Destroyer? I don't know how this is gonna go. Oh yeah, get him. Oh, he's not even damaging him. What? You're missing all your shots, Scraggler. Where did where did the Scraggler go? Oh, the Scraggler was slain. Well, Scraggler, I think that was the perfect way to see you off as you die and go into the heavens. Man, 
I am glad that the Scraggler is back. Thank you guys so much for watching my journey to resurrect the Scraggler. If you want to try out the mod for yourself, it's now on Tmod Loader, and the link is down in the description below. Let me know what you think, and send me photos of you, you know, find the Scraggler or something. I don't know. All right, have a Scraggle day.